guys, today I want to talk to you about my favorite art supplies. So very first thing I want to talk about is my red ballpoint pens. Um, it could be any brand really, I just make sure that when I go out to test it, that it doesn't bleed too much or if it does, that I'm aware of it before I go to sketch with it. I love sketching with these because you can't erase them and it's so easy for me to go back on my older drawings and see my mistakes and therefore I can improve on them. They are also better than gel pens because if you draw with them at an angle, you can adjust the opacity so you can do shading with this. And by the way, my next video is going to be about how I draw portraits with these and how I shade with these. So if you're interested in that, um, watch out for it. It will be my next one. And the second thing I want to talk about is my graphite pencils. My favorite one is the Stedler Mars Lumograph Black. It's dark and it's soft. It doesn't require a lot of um, force to draw with them. It's just so nice and light. And most importantly is that they don't reflect the light. So when I'm filming with them and when I take photos of them, they will look good on camera and in all different angles. They're great to sketch with and they're also great for, for finished pieces, so it's just great all together. My second favorite one is, is the Mitsubishi Hai Uni pencil. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's more for the build quality and the way it feels when I sketch with it. It just feels really premium, the experience when I draw with them. I usually go for softer pencils, but because I love the feel of this one so much, I even draw with the HB. It just feels really great in the hand. It's also a little bit heavier than my Mars Lumograph one, so that's I think that's also why I prefer the feel of these. So even though I like the LEDs on the Mars Lumograph, I have used these even more. And I think as evidence to that, um, I have a bunch of these minis that I have used for years and I still have a lot of my Morris Lumograph ones that are still full-sized and unused. So I'm gonna move on to my mechanical pencils. This is one is also a Mitsubishi Uni. I'm using the red lead instead of the 2B that it came in. I also bought the 4B LEDs for it because I really love how this feels and I also love that the LEDs are thicker on this one. I use them when I don't want to overthink the initial sketch, when I only want to focus on the overall shapes first, that is when I use these. Next one is kind of an um, honorable mention, it's the Pencil Graph Gear 1000. Um, I don't really like the lead inside, but I love the actual body of the mechanical pencil. I'm mentioning it right now because I'm planning on replacing the leads for this. I hope they come with softer and darker leads because I really love sketching with this. They have these little rubber grips so they feel great in the hand. And now I want to talk about my erasers. I do have a few that come in these pen shapes, like the Mono Zero one, but ultimately I go with this black one. I believe it's a pencil black eraser. I've had it for years and I've bought a lot of erasers since then and this is still the one that I use the most. For the things I use to ink with, my favorite of all time is my Pilot G Tech C4. I believe they also come in bigger sizes but this is a gel pen so it glides on top of the paper really well. It makes very smooth and very consistent lines. So I never use this for shading but I do use it a lot for my inking, especially on top of my watercolors and and my ball pen sketches too. Next thing is my pencil pocket brush pen. I love this because it's waterproof and this is only a recent favorite of mine because it's very soft and so it requires a lot of practice to get used to that. Um, it requires a lot more control, but the tip maintains its shape really well and another great thing about them is that they came with refills so i don't have to buy them again because these were a little bit more expensive another brush pen that i have used more often than the pencil pocket is the tombow brush pen unlike the other one this is a little bit harder so it's easier to control they kind of feel like they're an in-between between a normal pen and a brush pen so this is a great transition thing with, that you can use when you want to get into brush pens. I want to talk about the things I draw white highlights with. 
Uh, the first thing I use the most often are the Posca pens. These things are so opaque and I had the whites before I had any other colors. I just used them for the highlights. I, I have found that the ones with a clear thing on the cap is more opaque than the one with a black cap on. I don't know if they are meant for different surfaces, but well, I don't really know what's up with that. The next one is my Copic Opaque White. This one is even more opaque than the Posca pens. It kind of reminds me of nail polish. It's great because it comes with a brush, like, like a nail polish dust too. I love this. My next category is my markers and my highlighters, and I'm putting them in the same category because I use them the same way. My favorite is my Stabilo Boss highlighter, and this color especially. I love how the broad nib feels. The only thing that I don't like about this is the handle because it kind of hurts my hand when I sketch with it for a long time. For my markers, I like this touch and markers that I have. I love the chisel nib on this one because it's very broad and I also like how it feels like highlighters and I also have more color options for this one than my Stabilo Boss ones. For markers that come with a brush tip, I also have the Copic markers. There's just nothing else that feels as good as their brush tip. It's amazing and they also layer beautifully. Now I want to talk about my tools that I use. Um, but the first one is my pencil extender. It's pretty self-explanatory. I use this for my pencils that I have used for a long time when they become too tiny to use so I don't waste them. This one was also very cheap but it's something that I use very often. This one I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys because it's it looks really old and very rusty but I still use it. It's the HBW Matrix pencil sharpener. It's a crank sharpener. It keeps my pencils very sharp, especially my colored pencils. It came with a mount, so you can mount this on your desk. But I just place it on my lap when I use it, and it also feels very therapeutic. Every time I use it, it's just it's so satisfying. The next ones are my masking fluids. I use these to preserve the paper when I'm painting, so I don't put paint on where I put this on. I'm not very picky with my masking fluids, I just make sure that it comes with an applicator. I had one that didn't come with an applicator and it really ruined a lot of my brushes. So these ones are a lot cheaper but I use them more. For papers, I want to start with the sketchbook that I got from Craftel.ph. This is handbound by them but the paper is the Fabriano Artistico one and it's cold pressed so it has a good grip when I'm painting with them. The only thing is that it's a little bit expensive, so it just feels like more of an investment. My all-time favorite brand of watercolor papers are my Baohong papers. They come in loose sheets, in blocks, and in sketchbook forms. The ones that I use most often are the blocks because it keeps the paper from warping when I paint with them. I use both the hot and the cold pressed options. I like how the cold press grips the paper, so I don't accidentally reactivate layers underneath. But I also really like the smooth texture on the hot pressed one because it's great for when I'm painting with gouache so that the paint just glides on top of it. I also have this in sketchbook form. This one that I have is cold pressed and in landscape. And so I love painting full body paintings on it. I just really like how it fits on the paper this way. Next sketchbook is also one of my recent favorites. This one is called the Handbook Sketchbook. I love that it's in square format so that when I lay it open, it fits my video frame better. I also love the paper that's on it. Um, it's rough enough for pencils to feel great on when you're drawing, but it also doesn't feel too rough that they wouldn't just glide on top. So I really like this one. I also really like the size. I think it's 5x5. Five five. I was watching a review for this and it looks like it just fit on the person's hand and I thought it would be smaller but, but it's actually not as small as how it looked in that video. I um, really like this one. This next sketchbook was my favorite before. It's called the Limelight Sketchbook. The thing is, I don't know if this is a Filipino brand because I have tried to google them and I couldn't find them. I also messaged them on Facebook asking them if they were a Filipino brand. Um, I, they never replied, but 
These are great. They are very affordable with a lot of pages and I also like the texture on the paper. Only reason why this isn't my current favorite is because the paper kind of feels different from the old one that I bought years before. I don't know if I'm crazy but it doesn't feel as thick as the paper from the old Limelight sketchbook. But the thing is, these are still awesome for its price and I draw with these so much because there's so many pages and it just really inspires me to draw a lot too. So now I'm moving on to my watercolors. My favorite is still the White Knights watercolors and I wish I could show them to you guys but I ran out of them. It's not as expensive as my other brands but I just love how it feels and I believe they're also light fast which is great. The next one is also one of my favorites, it's the brown watercolors. This feels very much like my white knights but the thing is they are not light fast so you wouldn't want to use this for your permanent pieces but it's affordable and it's vibrant and I also really love the brush that came with it. it I also have a runner up which are my Mijellos Pure Pigment set because they're so vibrant and the colors are just so punchy. I also really love painting with them. Now I'm going to talk about my one and only gouache, the Hibimiya gouache. I love this so much and I don't know if it's just because I haven't tried any other brands but I just love the feel of gouache. I use them as often as my watercolors and they are also in the running to be one of my favorite mediums. I just love that this whole thing that it came in, the extra mixing palettes and that they come in these jelly containers which makes them so convenient to use. Uh, I just really love the Mia gouache. For my brushes, my all-time favorite are my Artist Loft brushes. I love them because they keep their shape and I also just love the feel of them. I love that they're not too soft, that they require too much practice to use. Unlike my other favorite, which is a silver black velvet brush, this one is a lot softer and it holds a lot of water but again, it's because it's softer, it's very hard to control initially. Uh, this next set of brushes is called my Giorgione brushes and I love using these for gouache because now that there's so many sizes and options in this set and they're also very inexpensive which is great. So then this very last thing I want to talk about is my Holbein Artists colored pencils. I have a story to tell about these pencils. When my husband gave them to me, they came in this very beautiful wooden box. But the thing is that a few years ago, we were hit with a flood and these were left submerged in water for days. So when I found them, they were shot and I just thought that they would be unusable and I just left them there for a while. By then, I couldn't even touch them because they would just crumble. But a couple of days later, they were mostly back to the way they were before. They did end up with a crack on them, but even the exposed lead dried very solid. And I'm still shocked to this day that they survived that. So yeah, the set that I had, I think, is their full set. There's three subcategories. So the first one is more your normal colors that you see on the color wheels, but more expanded and they also have these earth colors which are so beautiful they have their neon neon colors just a handful of them but my favorites are my pastels i usually go for my dark very vibrant colors but i have found that when paired with my black brush pens these will work great together i don't actually keep them in the box anymore because that's ruined underneath i, I have a separate case for them i just put them inside the box for this video so, so they would look cute so yeah that is it for my favorite art supplies i hope i'm not missing anything because that would be sad i am so sorry for my voice today you guys uh, it's really just my allergies from a couple of days ago I'm perfectly fine it's just my voice stays this way for a while after the fact so probably i'm gonna sound like this for my next videos so yeah if you guys want to see that stay tuned and i'll see you guys soon